What's up everybody? Welcome back to the County Show where I make something for us or at least just for me. I wish y'all was here. I would make you guys something too. The yank. So I'm just making myself some. It's not good. But you can make this at home. What I'm gonna make today though is shaken beef. Vietnamese shaken beef. Called a ba luk lak. I'm gonna I'm 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 make this shaken beef over cauliflower rice. It's gonna be good. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let go. Okay, you know what we should do first is marinate our beef. Okay, I got a ribeye here that is about 1.83 pounds. It has a twine in it. Twine, 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 twine. You don't need twine. This piece of fat right here is kind of chewy, but because it's fat, I'm gonna keep it anyway, so. We're getting cubic, so. This is the ribeye cap. Has a lot more better marbling. Probably the better tasting piece of steaks, I think. Like that. Okay, in a bowl like this, we're gonna mix in our dry ingredients first. Let's go one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder here, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. We're gonna mix this up and we're gonna do for our wet ingredients two tablespoons of sesame seed oil and one tablespoon of fish sauce and you can use sugar if you want but to keep it more low carb and uh, keto friendly I'm gonna use this monk food sweetener which is a uh, zero index on the glycemic levels so let's do one tablespoon monk food sweetener should put that in earlier mix this up and about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar Maybe almost a tablespoon. Uh, mix that up. That's good. Put our beef in here. So this is about four or five cloves, but five small cloves of garlic. Smash like this. Take out the outer layer. Take the minced garlic, put it in our meat. Take your dirty hand already. We're gonna mix this up. Let it marinate, let it sit for like 30 minutes or so. A little bit longer might be better, but 30 minutes is good. And this up. And here we're gonna cook our cauliflower rice that I have already riced out. So, get yeah, this on. Tablespoon of butter, olive oil, about a tablespoon too. Turn the heat to high. Put in a little bit of our garlic, probably half of this. That's like two cloves of garlic. Let that infuse into the oil and butter real quick. Mm, it smells good. That garlic smells fire. Now we can throw in powdered flour rice. Let that shit cook down. Tenderize. Tender loving care. Turn the fry down to medium, medium low. Medium's good. Let's put a half a tablespoon of butter here. And half of the green onions in here. Should be salty enough already. Let's put some seasoned with pepper, garlic. Mix it up a bit. Let the, let the flavors incorporate. High flour rice is still a little crunchy. I want it a little bit tender, more tender. And it needs some salt. A half a teaspoon. Mix that up. I'm gonna put some cheese in the cauliflower. There we go. That's probably one quarter cup of cheese I put in here. You don't have to if you don't want to. I put in a shredded Mexican cheese. Okay, cauliflower should be done. Let's take it out. Put the cauliflower in here. Now let's start cooking our shaken beef. Tablespoon of butter, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay, we're gonna add in our Shaking beef, about a in now. Should be hot enough. I'm waiting for it to char up a little bit. Uh, what's called the Mallard, Mallard reaction. You get the little sear. And then I'm gonna flip it over and sear the other side of these pieces of uh, shaking beef. Maillard, Maillard, Maillard reaction. Our shaking beef should be done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch this over. Get two eggs. 
Okay, let's take out our meat. Right there. Put a few onions here. Uh, one egg on top. Bring out some toasted sesame seed. There we go, give it some color. Freshly crushed black peppercorns. Just to make it look pretty. And how'd that look? All right, y'all. Let's see how this shit tastes, man. This is fucking fire as fuck. I want to try out the chicken beef. Let me take these right here. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's fire. Sweet. A little bit tangy from the outside. It's an egg. Let's try. The cauliflower. Get it meat together. Ooh, some fat. City dog. That's fire as fuck. Well. Yolk. High flower and eggs. Mm. Yeah, eating like this, I don't miss rice. That shaking beef though, man. That's just fire as fuck. Well. Alright. I'm gonna have to excuse myself so I can devour this shit. This is very good. The Maluplak shaken beef. That shit's fire as fuck. Well. It's really good. Uh, the egg. Of course, eggs are good, you know what I mean? The cauliflower goes well with this, man. Yeah. It doesn't taste like rice, but it's, I, see, I think it's better than rice. The shoe's fire, man. Alright, y'all, yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Khan Eats. Uh, please subscribe if you want to subscribe. Like this video, dislike. Share this video. Comment down below. And thank you for watching, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Peace out.